comes into math, grade 5, lesson 2. And we'll be talking about numbers up to 100,000. When we're talking about numbers this big, it's really important to pay attention to the place value of each digit within a number. Let's look at the example of a number in its standard form and identify each place value. 32,000 845. This is ten thousands. This is one thousand. This is hundreds, tens, and ones. When you're describing the place value, you're adding s to the word thousand. When you are just identifying a value, for example, three thousand, four thousand, one thousand, and it's identified by a number, then you do not need to add s at the end. For example, if I want to say 3,000 of something, 3,000 animals are at the zoo. Imagine how huge that zoo is. Nah. Anyway, so 3,000 animals, I don't need to add s here. But when I say three thousands, then I need to have an S because that identifies the place value of the number. We can add, subtract, multiply, and divide multi-digit numbers. When I add the numbers, I can represent the properties of addition with variables. Variables are letters that could be replaced with any number. For example, a plus 0 equals a, which means that any number plus 0 will always be just that number. a plus b is equal to b plus a, which means that any number plus the other number could be switched places and the addition uh, sum does not change. And then a plus b plus c, if I add the sum of two numbers to another number, again, I can make it the sum of the other two numbers and add the third number outside of the brackets, and the answer will still be the same. Now let's look at subtraction properties. m subtract n is equal to k. Therefore, m equals n add k, n plus k. This is always true. Next, if I have a subtract b plus c, then I am subtracting both of these numbers from a when I drop the brackets. So, a subtract b subtract c. If I'm subtracting the difference of two numbers from another number, here's what it looks like. A subtract B minus C equals A minus B plus C. So I'm changing each one of the signs in front of the numbers to the opposite. B was positive becomes negative, C was negative becomes positive. And subtraction changes to addition, addition to subtraction. Once you get to a number that ends in 9, you are moving into the next category of numbers. 999, the next number is 1,000. And now you are in thousands, not in hundreds anymore. Now let's see how we can subtract and add numbers using properties. Say I want to add 243, 189, and 57. It makes sense for me to add 243 first and 57, because 40 plus 50 is 90, 3 plus 7 is 10, 90 plus 10 is 100, and then another 200 makes it 300. And then just add 189, and that gives me 489 together. Next, if I want to subtract the sum of two numbers from another number, 
I will drop the brackets, but when I do that, I change the signs of both numbers inside the brackets to the opposite. 187 subtract 87 subtract 46. I can easily subtract these two numbers and get 100 and then subtract 46. 100 minus 40 is 60 and 60 minus another 6 is 54. That's the answer. Now I encourage you to go and practice some of this. That's the end of this lesson and I hope you enjoyed it. After you've done some practice, continue to the next lesson. See ya!